Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back, everybody. It's a great day, and uh, we're here with Michelle Fabrega, our love and connection coach. How are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. Hello, Art. Hi, John. Nice to be here. Hi, good to see you. Michelle, uh, every relationship that has any length to it, any period of time, there's always doubt. You know, you, you get sometimes it's you get mad at your partner or whatever it is, but there's people have doubts over the years. And uh, how do you how do you deal with those doubts? Because sometimes they become very serious questions that we have. Should I continue this? need this kind of stuff. How do you deal with doubts? Yeah, yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, they are common. I mean, it's it's just part of pretty much any relationship. There are going to be moments where you're like, what? Like, what am I doing here? You know? And uh, so that that's that's kind of a normal thing. And it's good to notice. So, and I think that's, you know, life in general, whenever um, doubts do come up. So basically they'll arise sometimes during something, you know, like a challenging period or maybe during a change that's happening, you know, maybe during a pandemic, <laughs> you might be questioning, um, or as the relationship deepens sometimes. And that's kind of, you know, doubts can kick up. And, and they will, you know, they'll show up about relationships, they'll show about pretty much about any decisions we make um, sometimes, right? Um, but they're not necessarily bad. So it's important, like I said, to pay attention to them, but not let them take over. Because as you probably know, you know, our minds have a negativity bias and that helps us in survival. Oh no, you know, am I safe here? And yet that can also just, um, you know, we can, we can go a little viral in our minds as we start thinking about things and we don't want it to take over. So it doesn't really serve us to allow them to take over. So you kind of want to balance them with the good things. And sometimes if you're having a lot of doubts, you can also remember, you know, a lot of the good things that are also going on. Well, yeah, that's um, a good. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Art. Yeah. So, um, uh, it seems to me that there's a, maybe a, a, a either different causes that you might want to think about, uh, whether you're new in a relationship, or whether you've been together for 10, 15, 20 years, and it's not even necessarily uh, a romantic relationship. It could be just a relationship with uh, with with a, a long-term friend. Uh, so. Is there a differentiation reasons why uh, doubts might come into play at different stages of relationship? Um, yeah, great question. I mean, I do think that in a friendship situation, it's not really the same because the stakes are not the same. I mean, you you could spend less time with this friend. You could, um, you know, it, it's sort of you have more fluidity in terms of how much you and you know how much you see them, what you choose to do with each other, what you choose to, you know, share with this person, right? But if they're, if they're your, you know, intimate partner, your romantic partner, I think the stakes are a little higher. Like, do I stay, do I go? You, know, you start, might start questioning, um, do I even want to be in this relationship? So one of the things to, that I think is important is that to look at your own pattern in relationships, because often we, you know, some of us, myself included, is probably one of those that I've always had a lot of doubts in my relationships. That's just been like part of my nature, I don't know, or part of my landscape of relationships. So that's, you know, it's not like it's this relationship necessarily. It's like pretty much all relationships I've been in. So, um, except for now, I would say, but anyway, that's another story. But so basically it's sort of like, is it related to something from the past? Like there was a certain point in my relationship in the past where my partner, you know, left me or, um, had an affair or something like there might be something going on that you're like alert and attuned and concerned, basically, um, like on alert, I guess not attuned is really not what I meant to say, but you're on alert to something. So you might also find yourself wanting, it's more comfortable to even sabotage the relationship yourself so that you don't get left or um, something uncomfortable happening. So if this is something that does go on for you, it's probably something to look at just for your own um, you know, skills in relationships. So you don't let this affect you. And because you might have a great relationship unfolding and deepening, but you're getting scared. You know, you're scared of getting close, right? Fear of intimacy. Yeah. When, when, when you have doubts, and again, they're, you know, you can have little doubts and big doubts. And, and uh, you know, I don't know that it's necessarily the subject of your doubt. Or what's what's going through your brain? It's something I think emotional. With you know, sometimes your doubts are really serious. You know, 
you, you question whether the relationship is valid or not. Um, that's that's kind of a crossroads. And I wonder, do you, do, at what point do you share your doubts with your partner, with your loved one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, I think that's really key. Well, one thing I, I do want to caution people against is when you do have those doubts, you really, first of all, need to choose wisely who you share that with. And sometimes it might be, you know, at first, you know, you're having them and then who's the next person you share them with, right? Maybe this is somebody, you know, a friend, a friend of yours, you might, a confidant. And that's, that you just got to be careful because sometimes people have their own agendas and own, their own fears and that can just fan the flames of it. And also, if somebody, you say you're having doubts, the other person might say, you know, I never like that person that you're with. <laughs> or they might reveal something to you that, you know, can never be unsaid. So you need to be really careful. And this is, you know, sometimes, you know, talking to a coach or counselor can be a great thing because it, it's confidentiality. And you can have space to kind of sort it out yourself and unpack it. But, but you're right. You do need to eventually, you know. Talk about these things with your partner because otherwise you're kind of creating your own stories about what's going on and um, and it's it basically yeah. So I would say at some point you do want to bring it up, but probably they're having doubts too. You never know. So it can be just sort of a gentle. You can bring it up in a really gentle way, um, just to you know. Essentially, there's some communication maybe that needs to happen here. Um, you know, what it's not somebody losing their temper or something or the way they, you know, spend money or whoever, whatever it might be, it just be something that you notice that hmm, I'm kind of, this is a little um, troubling for me. And I just want to understand what it is like for you. And, you know, so you might just, you know, bring something like that up. I suspect that, um, uh, that uh, these things tend to feed and, and fester because you don't want to face it because you don't want to bring it up. So to me, in my entire life is, if I had a doubt of it, I just bring it up. And if, if it was based on truth and the other person's offended, well, great. Now we got it out in the open. I don't have to worry about, you know, sitting around and, and uh, stewing about it. Uh, but on the other right. side, you have to be willing to say, okay, if it's true, let's face it now. And it's either over or we fix it. So uh, perhaps, but I, I know that for a lot of people, that's a, a really tough thing to, uh, 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 address the person with whom you have the doubt. Uh, and uh, perhaps the best way to do it is just say, okay, this is what it is. Think about it. Still bothers me? Great. Let's talk about it. Because it's either true or not true. And they're either going to be offended or not offended. And let's find out where we go with it. Are you, okay? yeah. are, you, are you okay with that? Well, I think that's very wise. I mean, you know, also it depends how much ba like relationship ballast or history do you have together that you can withstand something like this because basically in the beginning it, it it's probably a little riskier to bring it up but that's the time you do need to bring it up so you might as well learn about each other are you able to handle you know an uncomfortable conversation right uh somebody well i'm not sure if this is going to work for me or wow you like to go you know shopping every evening or you know I'm making something up whatever but you know so it's like is this gonna is this person gonna be a match for me so i think it's great to you know because that it's not just the, the issue itself, but it's the meta conversation you're having about it and how well you can work together on that and bring it up with non-judgment and just curiosity. Those are the things that, you know, that shows, you know, those relationship skills are really key to, a, you know, a longer term relationship. They're all good advice, but I, you know, what I'm taking away, something that you just dropped um, as an aside almost, in this conversation. And that is that we, our brains have a negative bias. We do. I, I keep forgetting that, that people tend to be more negative than positive. And we have to, we have to watch that. We have to recognize that. So uh, wow. I took away two good things from this conversation. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the final point I want to make really is that sometimes doubts can really be a red flag in the relationship. And these can be like, how is my partner treating me? You know, uh, do I avoid certain topics because I fear of their reaction? I'm afraid to bring something up. And do they take my needs, you know, and, and, and feelings into consideration? Are they overstepping my boundaries or are they breaking agreements with me? I mean, you know, these are red flags. These are, you know, bigger than doubts, right? And so these are definitely serious things to address because, and if you can't talk about those with your partner, then you even, you know, I would say, 
you're probably not in a healthy relationship and you might want to get, you know, take a look at that and maybe get some support around that, whatever. But, you know, those are bigger doubts, right? Those are kind of, that's a different issue, a stronger, you know, bigger issue there. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. So uh, this has been great. Um, uh, we all have different ways of handling it, but I just say, hey, it bothers you, bring it up and maybe it's time to move on and maybe it's time to clear your mind of nonsense and 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 move on and and have a happier life but uh thank you because as always uh, you seem to have a way of uh understanding the kind of situations that people are in and what's messing with their mind and giving them the opportunity to to uh, uh to think about it in a different way so that they can clear clear the air in one form or another for themselves yeah, I mean, thank you. I think what you said, Art, about clearing the air, I mean, if you allow these things to fester and you don't bring them up, that can just build resentment or you have a whole story built up. Oh, whenever they do this, this happens. And yeah, you really need to be regularly bringing things up, right? And then you then you have this open freedom road together. It's, yeah, so that that's ideally the way to um, maneuver, I think. Well, thank you again. This has been great. And we look forward to seeing you again. And, uh, you know, something's been bothering me. I really like you, and I need you to know that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have no doubt that what Art is saying <laughs> is true. <laughs> Michelle, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Always good advice. Great to see you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you so much. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.